All right, Cancer, tell me the answer, baby. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Stero, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to each and every one of you guys who always clicked like shared and subscribed to any one of my videos thank you guys for showing me all the love and support during this covid shutdown y'all know my birthday is on sunday october the 25th thank you guys so much for all of the birthday shout outs thank you so much for all of the gifts and presents and stuff y'all been sending me through the amazon wish list and stuff through the cash app through the paypal i thank you so so much for all of the love and support man this has just been a wonderful journey and i thank you guys for just loving me and just you know loving each other collectively and helping each other heal and you know heal and chill in the name of Jesus so I just want to say thank you to every last one of you guys if there's any one of these videos resonate if you would like to book a personal and private reading with me or if you just want to show some love or support to the page um you can click the description box in this video or check the about tab on my YouTube page it has the booking information um I do my video readings on Instagram video messenger if you do not have Instagram video messenger you can use my email which is scorpionres at gmail.com send me an email say hey Rez I'm trying to book with you I don't have Instagram and I'm gonna help you get set up on Google Hangouts Google Hangouts is a free easy app to download the only thing that we need to exchange is our email address and mine's is scorpionrez at gmail.com so y'all know what to do to get at me okay and as you know cancer we always give praise and just thanks and just give glory to father God the creator before we do anything here because we couldn't do anything without him so we need him step by step day by day step by step day by day okay so listen we're gonna get into this prayer so father god i thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer you know we searching for the answers father god you know that we are reaching for the glory because they don't know our story father god we've come so far and we've been fighting so hard father god we are just tough we are fought tough we were built for this father god we know what is ahead from us for us because we know where we came from you know what i'm saying when you know where you came from you know where you're going father god and we sure enough know where we going we put our head up in pride you know we have a uh, discernment and self-love just like that trinity package well Let's add a little dose of faith in there, okay? So, Father God, we just thank you so much for just our elevation right now. For us just being highly spirited and blessed and highly favored, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. You know we're searching for the answer, Father God. Thank you for all of the blessings and the glory that you placed in front of our footsteps and over our life, Father God. Please give cancer the guidance that they need for October 2020. Show me the money energy. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get into this, you guys. Let's see what we got popping. What's popping? Let's see what we got. So, if there's anyone, you know, I don't be doing no pre shuffles like that. When I've been doing the collective, I've been doing the um, pre shuffle and going ahead and laying it spread out face down and stuff like that. But I like to see you guys. Let you guys see me do the shuffle on the camera so you know, you know for play play what we're doing around here. So if there's anyone that would like to skip past that, y'all would like to put the timestamp. Is that okay? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and I seen it, but we're gonna put it down. Alright, I got okay. I'm gonna have to switch the spread up a little different for y'all because when we did um what was that? Gemini. I think I ended up pulling out um, the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle deck and my marijuana playing cards. So I'm going to add a little bit of that flavor for you. Alright. Alright. Yeah. 
they keep singing that step by step, day by day song, say song in my head. What well, um, the people we are, the song that we say, and make it better the second time around. What show is that? Oh my God! Step by step, day by day. What show was that, y'all? If y'all know what show that was, please put that down in the chat for me. So you got the pink lotus fairy. A time for spirit here popped out. Alright, now come on now. You better get yourself sanctified and, re <laughs> and refocus. Now come on now. I'm fucking with you, Cancer. I'm fucking with it. Cancer said the answer is inside. It's inside of me. It ain't nowhere else. I gotta use this vessel the correct way and stop looking for people to give me the correct key and stuff. But my intuition been telling me from the dope what the situation was. Can't say my intuition been on point. My ass just been sleeping. It's time to go inside. Not the fool in the reverse, okay? I told you, Cancer said they is not playing around with this fool in the reverse. <laughs> they said, I'm not about to just be jumping out there just like I'm all about going on faith. But listen, at the same time, I ain't out here to be looking stupid, okay? So, shit, you got to check what you got your faith in. That's why I can't have to go inside a little bit. Like, hold on, how am I feeling about this? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck what these people are saying and they want me to believe and trust and everything and just go off of, mm -mm, hold on. How am I feeling inside? I ain't no fool. Listen, mama ain't raised no fool. Can't just say I ain't got time for it. Okay, all right. Good gracious. Nope, I'm not even about to put that back and reshuffle. However, I just said it is how it's going to be. Now, this is badass Miss Allison Wonderland in here because y'all know she be in here hurting people's feelings when I put her out on this table, child. Listen, Alice ain't never came to play, she came to slay. The King of Spades in the reverse. I don't like the King of Spades in the reverse, chill. It's not a good individual. Very smart and intelligent, but doesn't necessarily use the smart intelligence and wits in the right way. That's why some might possibly ain't being no fool no more. It could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius male energy. Let's see what's going on. Let's get some love guidance under this. Okay. Let's get some love guidance. Okay. Alright. Alright. I need to put Two more right here. Nah. One more time, guys. Listen. Let us have I don't even know the words to that song, but that's popping in my head. Listen. What she said. I'm all alone at a crossroads. I'm at a phone my own and I try to try and it on my and you should know now I'm done believing you you don't know what I feel and it's normal love you made of me I don't know the word y'all but like they're making me sing that shit and I try yeah yeah hold on what? They said, listen. Ooh, child, I got chill bumps off of that shit. Y'all hear me? What? They just made me sing that shit. And it's like, listen. I'm done believing you. You don't know what I'm feeling. 
I'm more than what you made of me. I think that's what the is that what the words is, y'all? All right, last two. All right, more fire, more fire. Ooh, pun the place. All right, do y'all see? All right, I'm gonna have to take it. All right, so. Let's just talk about real quick what has flipped over on the table, you guys. Y'all can go ahead and put the timestamp right now. So, we got the Nine of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds, and we have the Eight of Spades right here. So, let's talk about this right here. So, the Nine of Diamonds represents, like, um, like self-worth, like, you know... Uh, personal gain uh, that's kind of like the nine of pentacles kind of like you understand um, you've worked a lot you've earned a lot for yourself I feel like you've done a lot of self healing for yourself as you can see you got the pink lotus fairy that's someone going within their self they're really trying to learn how to stop making the same mistakes over and over and over and start trusting yourself and stop looking for others opinions on what you think you should do and like putting other people's wants before your own self or your own needs it's about me this time you don't understand it's about my healing it's about my health it's about my wealth the queen of diamonds is someone that is very very intuitive extremely smart she's very gifted and like uh like sussing out different personalities realizing who's fake who's real what's the truth from what's lies you know this is someone that people come to for a lot of advice um information about uh like technical things i feel like this woman is very very um book savvy uh, Kapai, and, and very street smart as well. Like the Queen of Swords, like she give me Queen of Swords too. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the mix between the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles here. You know what I'm saying? So she's all about foundation, education, her looks. You know what I'm saying? Her appearance is always on point. She always has something. Um, the things that she, she might not talk that much but the things that she say out of her mouth is something that you can take and apply to your life and bring some wealth personal wealth into your life but this woman right now what she's experiencing um she could be experiencing some type of uh, stagnation she might feel stifled in some type of way um like lack of movability like she may be trapped in a situation mentally where it's something that um, she's trying to find her way to make an escape. Um, the eight of spades is like imprisonment. It's like someone trying to hold you down. Someone not releasing you. You know what I'm saying? And it could be because this person. This is what I'm getting. I don't want to say like you're too independent. But it's like. You are like you have your own shit together and you're very smart. But at the same time, I feel like it's somebody or some legal situation. They may have you in a bond where you're looking at what you have. You're looking at your work. You're looking at your wealth and you're looking at what you may con uh, uh, constantly find yourself confined in. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. I just heard I, I worth, I'm worth too much to be in this situation. You know what I'm saying? So you could be in an environment or a legal situation where it may be restricting you financially and you may have money that you want to invest and you may want to spend somewhere on something that you feel could advance you, but your money is trapped. It may be tied up legally in something else where you can't touch that money to do what you want. And it's like you're looking at everything with this I always say when I see the lotus, this is someone who got it out the mud. Like this is someone who whatever wealth or whatever material gain, whatever material assets they, they have, they got it out the mud. Like they struggle. They put blood, sweat and tears into whatever the fuck it is that they got. You know what I'm saying? This could even be a situation where the queen of 
um, Pinnacles or the Queen of Swords feels like she's trapped in a situation mentally with someone that um, is less than her. And she's looking at her value and what she has on the table and, and, and trying to analyze if I even want to allow this to continue to hold me back because I, I could go somewhere else. But why am I allowing this to um, seclude me from everything else that would be the best for me? Am I making any sense? That's why she's going within. She's thinking about herself, everything that she's worked for, everything that she has and wondering why she's sitting down and she's feeling stagnated like she can't move. Like why is she allowing something to have a level of power over her. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it might be this queen, this king of spades right here. This king of spades that says, if you do such a thing again, I'll have you buttered. If you do such a thing again, I'll have you buttered. So I don't, ooh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. So this king, now the king of spades, is a very intelligent king but the king of spades in the reverse this man he will tell you that he will do you no wrong but he means you no good baby do you understand he got the gift of gab he got swag he may dress really good he is very very smart you may just even be like attracted to his mind and how like he's a go-getter and he can just like um he just has like a, a, a lot of um, amazing ideas. Like you may just like to talk to this person. But everything that come out of his mouth may not be the truth. He may be just telling you what you want to hear. So he can find out what you got. So he can take it for his own. For him to say if you do such a thing again I'll have you buttered. Buttered to me means like I'm buttering you up. Like I told you the king of spades is someone that he knows what to say. He knows what to do. He studies his targets before he's no fool do you understand what i'm saying he's not no person that's just gonna go out there in faith and say oh well i'm gonna try to do this and i'm gonna see if i could finesse her to give me this money or let me use her car or you know i'm gonna try to see if she let me move in with her like you know I, I, and i don't even know why i'm saying that but i'm just using that as an example but i feel like someone needed to hear that shit you know what I'm saying? So, because whoever this is has their own abundance, has their own, they're good on their own. They stay, they're very successful. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, and whoever this woman is, is most definitely trapped and in prison with whatever this person is saying. Like, I feel like her, and I'm not seeing any heart stuff here. Let me, let me just. So the center energy right here is the number five. So that means that you are going through some type of change and conflict where there's going to be some type of movement that's coming out of the situation regardless how you want to cut it. So again, like I said, this is a situation where someone is going within and they're having to make a decision based off of self. Self. Self wealth. I'm smarter than this. I've come up from too much to be trapped in something like this. Like, this is keeping me stagnant and I want to move away. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, what am I about to do? Number five, the universe has a greater plan. Wait, the universe has a plan greater than mine. That's why there's a force of change. I'm serious. I really think that this king of spades don't mean you no good. Let's see what's going on. Let's go over here with him. We got the Eight of Pentacles, so it's like, listen, the King of the King of Spades, he may keep you busy. He may. Uh, I feel like you gotta work. You gotta put in all of the work in this situation with him. This may be a one-sided situation. This may be a situation where you are the only one physically making a physical and uh, financial contribution to the. So, um, I really get like, they just said this man doesn't want her asking him questions. He just needs her to focus on her work because we need money to pay the bills. Like, don't be asking me no unnecessary questions. It's like, you supposed to be at work. And if you keep asking, if you keep probing, 
and picking and searching around for shit that you're not supposed to do, then he will butter you up again. Like, this person knows what to do to finesse you, to get you back on track, to work within this experience the way that they want you to. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the king of spades in the reverse is a finesser. You know? This could be someone that you know for work. This could be someone that you met from work. You know? Um... The king of spades could, they're saying this could be someone now that could possibly be your supervisor or something like that. Okay, so maybe this is, this is something different. This may have something to do with some work shit. So, let me flip this over because I ain't got any. Okay, so boom. The ten of diamonds. So, I'm going to put it to you like this with the fool. Okay, now let me see what this is. Heartbroken, okay. Now they're singing, young, sad, and blue, cause we're through, and no one's gonna, no one's gonna love you so, I'm young, sad, and blue, where, 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 who sings that, who sings that, I don't know where the fuck I heard that song from, anyway, so you got the heartbroken, and you got the Ten of Diamonds. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles with the Fool in the Reverse. So, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys could have been um, having an interaction with, like, a supervisor or somebody. This, or you could have been the supervisor. Or this could have been someone that you met at work. Only thing I know what this is saying is that whoever this person is, is... The jackass of all manipulators. Like, this person has you figured out. This person knows how to work you. Point back, period. I do feel like this is a situation where um, you might have had a certain level of expectations. And you might have put a lot of work in the situation. And it might have very much so been a one-sided situation. Because it says that this is heartbroken. You're heartbroken right here. The ten of diamonds is like... Regardless of how you look at it, tens is completions. So, like, you might have received everything that you were supposed to receive out of this situation. You might have been a little bit heartbroken because I think you expected something more. Um, I really do feel like you feel manipulated. Um, and I did turn this around. So, like, you may be just, like, sitting back smoking. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. You guys might have been doing some spiritual baths. I feel like some of you guys might have created a new business or something like that. Um, it, to me, I'm looking at this girl like she's writing recipes down. You see the aloe vera. She might got like a hair care or something or whatever. And she may, I feel like she may be doing like a skin treatment or something. They're saying like a cooling relief aloe vera skin something. It's ever for that or it's for the hair. I want to say it's for the hair. I want to say it's like when you put whatever this serum is. Because she's writing the recipes down. It's like it's like cool. It's like aloe vera and mint. Something. And it's like um, rejuvenation. Uh, something. And I want to say this woman makes candles too. So, you might be focusing on your business right now because the universe, the universe has a greater plan for you. I feel like there's, there's a lot of change right now. Um, I feel like you're changing your direction instead of you focusing on this king. Because I feel like you do realize that this person is buttering you up. And there's a lot of money out there to get. Like, you could be very, very successful. I feel like if you really, really do focus on your work, that's why I feel like this fool card is in the reverse. You don't have no faith in this situation no more. It's like instead of me putting in all this work trying to work this shit out with this person, I would be more successful if I just focus on my business and shit like that. So I want to say that you have been going within right now. Spirit may be guiding you on like some very lucrative i told you like did these are cause of an entrepreneur you know and it's like being very successful for you the queen of diamonds so it's like i feel like you turned away from heartbreak and allowed your frustrations with that to make you a mastermind 
creator in a business sense. Um, it does say you deeply hurt, you deeply saddened, a breakup, feeling lost, grief, mourning. But you may be putting all of that energy into your work and it may be making you successful. And if you guys are still dealing with someone like this, who and I, I don't feel like it did like this. That, that's a 10. That's an ending. That's over. Nine of you're definitely working on your own. I definitely feel like you're working on, the, on your own. The universe does have a greater plan for you. Um, the best advice that I could give you, and I feel like the best advice that you've been giving to yourself, because the best advice that you've been giving to yourself is to turn your back on the situation, because you know that this person is just lying to you to butter you up to get you back in. I feel like you rather born this loss and not be a fool and focus on your money than focus on something else that ain't benefiting for that ain't benefiting you. The universe has a greater plan to see what's going under this. Listen, I told you the lantern fairy. You got a clear solution. I am focused on my business. I feel like you might have just created this business. Like you just like trying to heal. Like on oh God, it's like a force of change. Your business might have picked up so much where you can't even focus on even being heartbroken right now. It's too much money coming in. It's too much money coming in. So I don't have time to be sitting up here grieving. Like am I, I ain't no fucking fool. Like are you crazy? A clear solution has been planted right before my eyes the universe had a greater plan for me i'm putting my skills and my development and my growth and everything that i do right now i don't i don't have time to be focused on being young sad and blue young sad and blue because we feel because we through like now nah. you know so if you did have a certain skill or a path in mind that you've been putting aside because you've been focusing all of your energy and dedicating your energy towards someone who really wasn't best for you. It's time for you to actually jump out there like stop putting faith in something that is beneath you and put more faith in yourself and go within because I promise you, you will not. If anything, you may be a prison in prison to your success. You know what I'm saying? Which we're going to clarify that in a second. If anything, you may be a prison to your success once you look at the clear solution that God is putting in front of you. Period. Bottom line, let's flip this over. You got the four coins. And it, bitch, come on now. Now listen. Listen to me. You got the four coins. And then you got the nine of wands. So listen, someone is here to help you. And not only that, you see, I feel like your girl, listen, let me break this down. Do you see how these two women are down there trying to pick up their coins and their dollars around racks and rodents? You might have been hanging around a lot of just dirty ass, low vibrational ass individuals, a whole bunch of like crab in the burrow, rat face assholes. And your sister is coming to help you collect your money back up. Uh-uh, girl, no, get this and get that. No, hold on. Because they're going to try to steal and take that shit from you. So, again, it's like, this is your girlfriend helping you learn how to keep your shit on the reserve. Don't tell these bitches nothing. Don't post nothing online. Like, be very secretive. Like, it's it, it, like your time is the most precious thing that you have, and and once you lose it, you can't get it back. And once it's wasted, only thing you can do is about is complain about it, and you wasted more time complaining about it. <laughs> you do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like you have one of your girlfriends or something that is helping you pick up the pieces and clean up your environment. Like this might be the girlfriend that's teaching you how to make the soaps, how to make the candles. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all might be putting. Y'all might be coming together off this one. Okay, now I'm hearing one love. Y'all might be coming. Yeah, one love, one heart. Let's get together and be all right. Listen, <laughs> this woman has been through this before. She's been through this without you. And she's not going to let you go through that without me. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like whoever this woman was... She survived this, trying to figure it out on her own. And she went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I felt like she lost a couple of her coins going back and forth. going. You know what I'm saying? Because she really didn't have 
anyone to help her understand the sense of value. Remember I told you that the Queen of Diamonds was looking at what she had. And was trying to understand why she was stuck in a situation that she felt like would take what was valuable to her. The most valuable thing you have is your mental. Is your mind. Because spades is worry, depression, anxiety, stressing over debt, loss, sickness, you know, loans, mystery, like that's using your mental in a negative way, not in a positive way to make beneficial things come into your life. Ooh, they said I'm better left alone. There's somebody helping you come and pick. I feel like there's a woman. There's a woman. Yo, and I'm serious. Look at her. Do you see how your sister or your girlfriend, you see how the rats is trying to come and grab that question? Like, get the fuck away from you. See how she moved that shit? I swear. Like, as soon as I look down, I seen I seen them like running to get that coin in the in the in the system. It's like, uh-uh. It's like there is someone in your life. Like a female energy that is not going for this shit because she been through this shit before and you not about to play with my sister like that. I really do feel like this is sister or is someone that, you know, like how you have like a sister that's not a sister and you be like, that's my sis. No, that's your sis. Like, no. She's like, get these, get, get your money from these people. It's not, it's money, your time, your energy. You got the Nine of Wands going into the Ten of Wands. So, you know, the Nine of Wands is when you finally defending yourself. You not backing down. You holding your motherfucking guard. And you walking into the Ten of Guard. I mean, the Ten of Wands is when you putting down fucking burdens because you realizing that shit is too much to fucking carry. I'm trying to do everything on my own. Because you know the story of the Ten of Wands is someone was supposed to help this person build this house, build this castle. Never show up. And you were left alone trying to figure out how to pick up the pieces to carry and do everything on your own when it was a two-man job. Now, that's why someone just decides to abandon shit. I feel like because... They're saying there might have been some people in your life that may have abandoned you because... It was like as long as you had this person in your life... This little motherfucker, if you do that again, I'll have you butter. Bitch, I'll smack. I feel like um, there were a lot of people in your life that might have stepped away from you because they did not like how this person was working you and had this negative um, mental control over you. Um, once you decided to stand up for yourself and defend yourself against this person... And drop, listen, you dropped it. The flame went out, baby. The thrill is gone. Like, once you decide, once you decided to stop fighting and stop putting your energy into this and drop this shit and let it go, everyone came out the fucking woodwork here to support you. Everybody. Because you're not being no fool no more. And they understand you heartbroken. That's why I look, this motherfucker came to pick you up and carry you. Because they know you hurt, baby. But you still got your light. I don't know who this is. But I don't feel like that's no family member, baby. That ain't no family member. Look at you, though. It's like you finally finding some peace in your fucking life after all of this struggle and after all of this drama. And it's like you looked up and you realized like how fucking blessed you were. It's just like, I don't know if you just like walked away from a situation and then like the next day someone called you and you had an opportunity for money to start a business. And you're like, oh, for real, no, no, let me jump on that because it's like now you, you, you. You have your time back. You have your world back. You, you know what I'm saying? And you're not being foolish no more. And it's just like, then your friends started coming back around. Your fa and it's just like, all of this shit just started coming to you because the universe had a greater plan than what your plan was. 
Then what his plan was. The universe not going to let nobody work you, baby. No, that ain't the way my God work. Come on now. Listen, autumn is my last chance. Please don't lose hope. And you know, the fool in the reverse is someone that has lack of faith. And you know, also the, the, the fool in reverse is... Okay. The fool in reverse could be someone that's not going, that's not leaving anywhere because they're scared. They're scared to jump out there on faith, you know. Um, so let's talk about this person working you because this, this is this motherfucker working you. It's this motherfucker working you because if you are doing all this self-help and and you're trying to love yourself, hoping that this person will love you more, which they're not. Which they're not. Then this person is still mentally working and you still dropped. If you have realized that the universe is trying to guide you to prosperity, true love, and abundance. And even though you lost your faith in this situation, you put your focus on your work. Block this king out. Because it, it is, like, this card is basically saying it's like you're sad, like, you kind of felt like that was your last chance. And it's like, God is telling you, don't get that. That motherfucker wasn't shit. Like, that motherfucker wasn't, like, what? Like, God is like, do you really think that I would give you that? Are you kidding me? Like, you really think I don't have something better than that? Please, baby, perk up. Love yourself. You see that number six? Love yourself, baby. And number six is love, harmony. Being caring, relationships, obligations. You want to be with someone that is obligated to loving you better and better and more and more each day. They would never lie to you. They would never try to work you. They would never try to manipulate you. This is not your last chance, baby. That was that motherfucker's last chance to play with you. This is your first chance at true greatness. Half of these experiences that we be going through, man, they be tested. To help us learn to love ourselves. And to stop being foolish. To learn to love ourselves. And then as soon as we decide to go within. And to love ourselves. And once we realize that. We're mentally stuck up and hung up on. Because this is like the devil card to me. This is the devil card to me. And Carmancy. It's toxicity. It's being bound. To something that don't love you. When you can love yourself. There's too much success around you. Too much. That was their last chance. This is your first chance at happiness. Because the universe has a greater plan. Than what you had. What's this card right here? Baby you got the page of cups. Don't you ever say. Don't you ever fucking play. Bitch. Don't you ever. In your life fucking play. What did I tell you? God told you to take that old toy that you were playing with. Burn that shit. It's time for us to grow. Because this is the page. Of, this baby, that shit that you were playing with in the past. That is child's play. It is time. Now I'm here. Let's get it started. Ha. Let's get it started. In here. Listen. And why would you think? Listen. Please do not lose hope. I need you to pick up the pieces. It's time to, listen, this is the page of cups going into the king of cups. What you went through was child's play. It was learning. We're in the learning stages. God is trying to teach you to don't give up. And if you love yourself, you are never short of love. And <laughs> What? What? Open up your heart, open up your mind, open up that soul, get that fire burning back within you. Once you decide, I'm done with the bullshit, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, bitch. You understand? There wasn't no fool me twice. Don't lose hope. Focus on your work. God know what he doing for you. As long as you stand your ground and hold yourself down, the four of coins is when you are not, you are keeping 
everything about you on reserve. You ain't telling motherfuckers shit that they don't need to know. You ain't giving people no more time than they need to have. Do you understand? If you ain't learning, if you ain't gaining nothing from the situation, I ain't got it to do because I ain't giving shit out. I'm putting shit in the bank. So if you ain't got shit to give me, I ain't got it to do. And because you held your ground and you stood up for yourself, that's why people are coming to you. That's why the doors is wide open. Child, you take all of the time that you need to heal. He got you. Have you ever been like heartbroken? Just ended something. Look, I, I listen. I received everything that I'm going to get from this. I'm good. I'm good. I'm a heal. I'm good. And in the middle of you healing, success comes to you. A lot of beautiful luck and just amazing things start coming to you. And then just out of the blue, voila. A new toy pops into your life. Oh, honey, you forgot about them old G.I. Joes and all of that. Oh, shit that you used to play with back in the day and shit like that. Girl, this is 2020, 2021 toys, honey. This is a new edition model. Like, this shit ain't even hit the stores yet. This shit ain't even on, <laughs> this shit ain't on the market yet. I'm getting a sneak peek, honey. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, you, listen, you get this sneak peek. You about to get the 2021 model of some new shit. Of some true shit. You better put that shit down, honey. And let this motherfucker come pick you up. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. The four pinnacles in the reverse. As you remember, I told you the four pinnacles in the upright is someone holding their purse. They ain't giving nobody no money, no time, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. No nothing, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. So, this is basically saying that in the right situation... I would be willing to open up more. I feel like someone had to show you how to pick up your pieces and how to reserve yourself and to reserve your wealth and to reserve your health because pinnacles represents health too. Um, because the four pinnacles being in the reverse could be someone going through some type of financial stress or adversity, lack of employment. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I feel like mm. okay what this is saying to me is like you used to go to the city I don't know if you used to work downtown or something for work or whatever you might have lost your job you know what I'm saying because you see like this woman is taking her money away from the town you know what I'm saying I'm getting like tax free money or something like that. So, again, because you got the, the king of coins in the reverse. Okay. Ooh. They just said, I can't show my kids how to make money this way. So, I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. What you mean you can't show your, your kids how to make money this way? King of coins and the reverse. So, listen, this is, this is the thing. So, you used to make money downtown. You might have lost your job. You know? So, you might have... Uh, Open up your self. Why are y'all saying that? Is this just, I think this just might be a message for a particular person. They're saying like, I can't show my, my kids how to get money this way. Because I feel like it's a get money quick scheme. It's like, I feel like someone had to do what they had to do. Because if you can see, like, it's the king of coins, but it's like an older woman um, showing a child. Like, pass it down in skill or art. It may be something that you might have learned how to do from your family lineage. It might be something illegal. Like, oh, okay, so they like... um 
you be mixing drinks like or something like you were like an under the table bartender or something it's like maybe you used to bartend in the city and they used to be taking all these taxes out of your money and your check and shit and it's like now because they a uh, covid they shut covid down and if you realize one of the best things that happen out of covid is like if you go to a restaurant you can take your drink to go so i feel like someone may be capitalizing off of this shit like under the table like maybe like the covid shit you losing your job it might have worked out for you in a certain way no maybe you would not teach your kids to make money this way but it's like mama gotta do what the fuck she gotta do like shit i used my mother used to sell plates my mother used to um sell the old cups if you from dc you know what the old cups is listen listen my mama my mama used to be the candy lady you know what i'm saying used to sell the tree yee yee okay on the street yee yee you know what i'm saying so i don't know it's like like legitimately like someone may be hustling some tree or like you know like selling some like fake bags or like doing something like that but it's like i gotta get my hustle on right now because money may get be getting short money may be low right now i i'm serious i feel like someone found out how to hustle through some type of adversity because you might have given too much. I felt like you giving too much of your time. Again, like I'm trying to tell you, I don't know if your sister do this shit too. Like I feel like your sister teaching you how to get money right now. Like it's like right now we gotta hustle. It's like ain't no jobs out here, ain't no money out here. Uh Ain't no government money out here, but there's money in these streets. Like, you gotta get it. Like, you already seen how mama and everybody used to get down. We about to get out here and make some plates. We about to do some hair, bitch. You understand? I'm sorry. Like, some of y'all might be doing some bank fraud. I mean, some fraud. I'm serious. Like, I'm dead ass serious. Like, I do feel like there's some people doing something. But you definitely focused on your money. And you could be covering up with like an Epsy shop or like a, a one of little Facebook shops shit <laughs> like that like you could be selling candles and shit with your candles <laughs> like you <laughs> I'm sorry why am I telling y'all the tea alright so listen listen so listen the sister making the candles and shit and, and the little hair products that's the front right that's the front Really, y'all bitches is hustling gas and shit. Because you like, man, the tax man ain't about to take my money. They should have never shut down the motherfucking goddamn. Because <laughs> once I figured out how to get this money on the streets, I'm about this motherfucker living like gigs and shit. I don't want to see my kids. I don't want my kids seeing me doing this shit. But mama got to hustle. Like, you might be dead ass. Like, have like an online shop or some shit or some. But it's like when you ship or whatever the delivery, it's like they may get a candle and a 3.5 on God. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, this might be a, like a $50 spiritual candle with a bag of some spiritual uh, marijuana, too. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. Like, let me stop. I don't know. Because I don't even know why I'm telling y'all somebody business strategy and shit. But listen, y'all done found a clear solution to get some money. Listen, hello? Hello, listen, they, listen, you shut down the motherfucking streets, that don't mean that you gonna shut down my motherfucking shit, okay, bitch? I'm about to motherfucking get out here and grind like somebody, grandmama, or something used to hustle. Like, seriously. Alright, so let's see what this, and you got the king of diamonds. Both of them is in the reverse. And this one says, the horror of that moment I shall never forget. So what they're telling me right now is like, you got the king of, pen, the king, the king of diamonds and the king of motherfucking spades. So there might have been two situations. I don't know if y'all got two different baby fathers, two different bosses, two different men in your life. I don't know if... You feel like cycles is, I mean, really what I'm getting here is like cycles is repeating itself because you might have seen your mother go through this shit like an ain't shit, lying, cheating ass, not wanting to work, manipulative ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, sis, it's like you seen mom, you seen mom 
have to boss up and take her bag back from dad. You know what I'm saying? Me and you and mom, we all work together and you know, we supported we supported each other like shit. When dad left mom, shit, mom had to go out there. Mom ain't had no money. Mom had to go out there and get it in the streets like off some king shit. Like she had to be mom and dad. She might not have shown us the right way, but she showed us the best way that she could do for her. Mom was out there hustling until God sent her a man that, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is because now, now I'm getting like a woman that was really having to live it rough. You know what I'm saying? Having to do things, the things that she really didn't want to do. That I feel like that women really shouldn't have to do to take care of her family because the father wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a generational curse or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And I really do feel like that. But it's like y'all dealing with dudes that are just not worthy of y'all. It like bought out the hustler in you guys. And created like a like a fortune or wealth amongst this group of women you know what I'm saying it's like don't forget what happened to mom like you know what I'm saying God sent someone for her and he'll send someone for you don't give 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 to rat ass low vibrational motherfuckers where you don't have nothing to give for yourself you know this isn't it for you have hope don't be looking sad Come on, let's focus on money. The more you focus on money, the more you're opening yourself up for new love and new toys to play with. If you're sitting around looking sad and moping and shit, you you not having the faith. Ain't nothing going to come to you because you're not moving. You're too busy focusing on some shit from the past and you got to let that shit go in your mind. You got to allow yourself to be free. Because listen, the horror of that moment, I will never forget. You will never forget that this motherfucker wasn't shit to you and he ain't gonna be shit to you and he ain't gonna be shit to nobody else leave that motherfucker ways at and open up yourself to other ways one door closes another one opens you know what I'm saying so this is like you closed yourself off but you are open you know what I'm saying you are opening yourself up to be able to give and receive you know um Hmm. You got the wedding ring in the reverse. So this says union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Like this shit is dead. So like there could have been a marriage, a commitment. Again, I'm I'm really getting like this has to be a earth sign or air sign. I mean you could be an earth sign or well. You guys are either dealing with an herb sign or an air sign. Okay? Either Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There was someone that there was a connection there, but it didn't amount to shit. Because these, these men like this, this motherfucker talking about they're going to butter you up. And listen, the, even the thought of this person makes you just want to grab something and squeeze the fucking life out of this bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Because the horror of that experience I will never fucking forget look at her like trying to just you little stupid fucking bitch like it <laughs> you know what I'm saying like just like this person is so full of their self just narcissistic only think about their self would do anything would tell you anything just to get what the fuck they want I don't want to be in a connection with someone like that that's why you were heartbroken because you thought it was going to be something but it wasn't but ain't no point in me sitting around being young, sad, and blue. My family is not going to let me sit around being young, sad, and flu, uh, blue. I'm going to keep it focused. Listen, the star. Ended out with the star chord. Star going into the moon. If you know who you are, look, that's right next to the pink lotus fairy. The star card is that inner worth. That's you knowing your star power. Remember, like Kevin Hart said, who your star player is, it's yourself. You know what I'm saying? 
It's like, at the end of the day, I know my family not telling me nothing wrong. But I don't know why I was so trapped and fighting with myself. Why I wasn't ready to let that go. And, and it's because it hurts. But as long as you're willing to continue to move forward. Move forward. Take that leap of faith. And knowing that the universe has something greater in mind for you. It damn sure ain't this. You know, you went from heartbroken to a hustler. That's all I can say. That's what we're going to name this video. From heartbroken to a hustler. Heartbroken to a hustler. Your intuition guided you the fuck out of that situation. Because you knew your worth. You knew you were better than this. You knew that there's something better out there. It got to be something better than this. You know, went from heartbroken to a hustler to a hero. I'm gone, Cancer. This has been y'all reading. I hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Um, if y'all want to send me any birthday wishes, y'all make sure that y'all send me a message on Instagram or y'all put it down in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. Um, peace. <laughs>